When I think of Santorini, vivid images and flavors come to mind. The spectacular caldera view, the unforgettable sunset in Ia, the endless blues of the Aegean Sea, the volcanic soil, the bright acidity of the special terroir's white wines and the local produce and fresh seafood. Santorini or Thera has been blessed by the gods with these abundant natural resources, making it a unique and unforgettable destination. The islands of Thera were formed by 12 volcanic explosions over the last 120,000 years. On the main island, the coveted hotels all have caldera views. At the northern tip of the island is Ia, a town with picturesque whitewashed houses hugging the cliff and filled with shops, restaurants, churches, and inns. From Ia, take a boat ride to the island of Nea Kameni to hike the volcano and swim in the hot springs. The volcano is still active, though it tends to only erupt every 20,000 years. Save the afternoon for a relaxed meal and drinks and make sure that you are well positioned for the most stunning view of the sunset in Ia. Believe me when I say that this view is just priceless. See what I mean? Santorini is known for its cherry tomatoes, capers, white eggplants, fava beans, and seafood. At Nikteri, Chef Vasilis Zaharakis showcases fresh local flavors. The restaurant is on the black sandy beachfront of Kamari. While in Kamari, visit Yea Winery. Once a tomato cannery, the stone building that houses the winery with its beachfront open air tasting room is unique. Santorini's main grape variety, Assertico, is known for its strong mineral character and crisp acidity. Because it's so windy in Santorini, the vines are pruned with these wreath-like baskets to shelter the grapes from wind and sand. The bone-dry thalassites and my favorite, Assertico by Yea, Wild Ferment, are perfect food-pairing white wines. Yea also makes red wines in Vincento. In the southern part of the main island is the prehistoric town of Akrotiri. Much like Pompeii, the town was completely buried and preserved under ash during a volcano eruption in the 17th century BC. Excavations have revealed a civilization advanced in the arts with sophisticated wall paintings, many of which depict exotic plants and animals, suggesting that the town's mariners were well-traveled. Close to the excavation site of Akrotiri is the Cave of Nicolas, a heartwarming taverna run by Nicolas Alafragis, his wife Margarita, and their son Minas. The homestyle cooking and service will make you want to come back for more. Just above the Marina of Lihada is the excellent seafood restaurant Topsaraki. Needless to say, they have easy access to the freshest catch of the day, which happened to be the scorpion fish when I visited. It was meaty, juicy, and delicious. Santorini is in full swing from spring to late autumn. Now is just the right time to plan a visit.